you will be learning how to access your Runner Connect and how to schedule an appointment with your advisor or tutor through there. First, go to any search engine you'd prefer and we're gonna search up csub.edu. Once you're there, we're gonna go to current students and we're gonna scroll down to where it says all student links. We're gonna view more links and we're gonna look up Runner Connect. Runner Connect should be the second to the last line. Once you've selected it, it will ask you to log in. You will be logging in with your CSUB email and password. Once you've completed that, then you will be in the home page of your Runner Connect. One thing to keep in mind is if you change your major, it will take several days before the new major appears on Runner Connect. Now that you're in the main page of your Runner Connect, we can schedule an appointment. To schedule an appointment, go to the right side corner and select the blue link. Then it's gonna ask you what type of appointment you would like to schedule. So either advising or tutoring. When scheduling your advising appointment, please keep in mind that everyone's drop down menu may vary as each student account is customized to that student. Then you have a follow-up question as to why you would like to see someone, either for forms assistance or registration slash class scheduling advising. Whatever option you decide, there will be another follow-up question. For example, if we choose forms assistance, then it's going to ask you to choose one of the following. So either change, declare major, or minor form. And if we choose registration, then it's going to ask you to change, declare, explore, major, or minor, or honors advising. We're going to select the change, declare, explore, major, or minor. Next, it's going to ask you what location do you prefer. You can choose from Arts and Humanities Student Center or NSME Student Center. Now you're going to select who you would like to meet. This is a list of all the advisors for the NSME Student Center, and at the very top, it should give you your advisor. Please select your advisor to meet with since all the other advisors work with different majors. If your advisor is not listed, you can refer to the NSME Advising Center webpage to find your advisor by major or by the first letter of your last name. So let's see my advisor. And now we can see her availability. So we can see for this week, there are no appointments, but two weeks from now on February 22nd, she has four morning appointments gives you the time once you select when you want to see her then it's going to give you your appointment details it's going to tell you who you're going to see why you will be seeing them when you will be seeing them and where it's also going to give you additional details it's going to tell you when you should join your zoom this is the zoom link and then it's going to tell you to make sure to check your campus email if you want to ask your advisor or tell them anything, the comment section is where you will do it and they will receive this in their confirmation email. Make sure to have the both check marks on send me an email and send me a text and make sure to provide your phone number because this is where they will be texting you to remind you about your appointment. Once you confirm your appointment, you will receive a confirmation email with all this information listed here. You will also be reminded the day of the appointment in the morning by email and an hour before your appointment by text. Once you confirm your appointment, you can view your appointment in your calendar.